Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Go. My name is Tristan. Um, yeah, so it's been a couple weeks since I played. I got very much into the game and basically recorded a bunch of videos in one shot. Um, so we are looking to expand. We have these uh, lots over here and a lot over here. They are the same price, same size. They're both uh, 35,000 for 1944 squares. I think I'm going to buy this one first purely because there's more st there's stuff on it for me to sell so get a bit of money. Not that that's really a good reason. I guess there is a bit of stuff here too, but... Um, right now we have 78,000. This is going to cost us half of our current money. We are about to get tuition from the 97 students we have. Plus the other 30 students. Uh, there's another 30 applicants for the new season. So, just one moment. And we're also going to, like, we need to basically build a new building for the new, uh, year. Like, the new class is basically going to be in a uh, new building all by itself. Okay, so I'm just going to go through this quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't actually have money to do what I want to do this second. Oh, I moved this over here, and it's going to run. And then I would take that Okay, Uh, so let's bring people in. Um, let's grab some new recruits. Which is everybody. Why aren't you working? Your door got moved, didn't it? Uh, is that all the people we can get? So yeah, we can't get anybody from there. We need to get the tram station first. That's fine. Uh, more money from here as well. Okay, I can also take a loan, but let's just give it a minute. Jessica Lewis, complete 15 to 20. Who are you? Infirmary staff, so management. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we also need to get boilers today, so. Okay. Everybody come in. You need money. So, a hundred grand. Okay, um... Uh... 
How much is that? 44,000. Okay. Let's build that. So right now we have a lot of students without a classroom. Uh, I already have a case going on here. A new semester has begun. How about a speech? Sure. I think we had one student fail. Maybe failed by like one point. The audience now feels something. Uh, welcome back to another promising semester. Hello, everyone. Let's get right to it. I mean, I'm trying to get them motivated, right? So, obviously, the friendly one here is the best one. I'm guessing, at least. Plus 15. Seems good. Uh, talk about academics. Talk about life. Talk about teachers. Your teachers to upskill. Talk about student study plans after last exam results were announced. Uh, catch up on everyone's lives, cheering them up and reminding them to pay attention to the health and hygiene. Or urge the teachers to up their skills. Let's talk about life. Plus five, that sucks. Pardon me one second. Sorry, I had a sneeze. Not want to come out. Um, flatter the students' looks. Criticize students who love to grumble and whine. Apologize to the students just as satisfaction decreases. I honestly think just picking the left one is the best one. Plus 15. Uh, what do you want everyone to do next? Let's strive for another week of positive vibes. I wish it would say semester. Plus five. Uh, it's time to wrap up the speech. Purchester. Oh, I got the hiccups now. Uh, Serene, Satisfaction 3 for 64 people. With the exams over, this batch of students is now ready for graduation. Let us take a group picture to commemorate our year together. Years together. So here you get basically this was our first class of I think it's 12 people. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. What are you doing, kid? Ah, uh, you get to change your position and your expression. And then you take a photo. You can't seem to change theirs, though. Ah, uh, no... Beast lasts forever. No matter where we or our students end up, we will always remember our days at Dear Old Beaver High. Okay. I was going to say, did the kids who... Oh, one second. Do we have people... I didn't go through everyone's schedules. Um, I did go through the second years because there's a bunch of people who were set to fail. Uh, yeah, you're good for today. You're not good to do mathematics. Crap. What do we have? Humanitarian and science. Um... Second. There's only five people in this class. Oh, they're finished their science. They're finished everything.
Same with you. So we can make a bit of money with the three bow here, I think. And we only have one class for this right now. Um Okay. Just waiting for this. Donna Cox completed 9 to 14 for educating. Seems important. Uh, we can go up to 22, so let's do that again. Who's this? Not enough washing. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of complaints for a minute here. Because the kids in the class are still causing the issues, not all the kids that are just wandering the halls. Alright. Um. Headmaster, some students have not been assigned to a class. Did you forget? No, I didn't forget about them. The students are unhappy. Give them a second. How many classes do we need? I didn't build this big enough. I'm just going to assign everybody. I'll be right back. Okay. Not enough. Oh, yeah. Not enough question. Um, so, I've set up five classrooms. Number two here has no students in it yet, but number one is was already set up, basically. It's li uh, not literature. Humanitarian and science. Number two is the opposite, science and humanitarian. Number three is... Humanitarian and Arts. Four is uh, Athletics and Science. And then five is Arts and Athletics. Class, most of the classes are somewhat empty right now. Over the next two days, they will fill up. Um, I need to hire staff, though. I need four new teachers. How much money we got left? 31,000? Okay. Um, I would like an art teacher. Can you do this or no? Can you get me high things? The issue. Like high level, we are not. We're still level four, so I don't see a point to that one yet. Um, Thirty-one. What is our teaching 
level now. Where's our teacher? Okay, that's quite good. Let's hire you. Uh, let's grab a sports teacher. We need four, so we might as well grab one of each. Twenty. You. And you. Dreams. Fine, all right. Uh, you are athletics, right? Yes. We're both athletics, but one didn't have art, so this one does. Okay. Let's let time pass here. And three. Arthur Perez is our... Okay, let's replace you with Arthur. Is most of the things going okay uh we walk through a pedestrian only street that is so narrow that only two people can walk shoulder to shoulder suddenly a tall burly man appears with a dark look on his face he does not look friendly he does not seem to like that we are walking on this path and begins to roar his shouts at us he tells us to get out teacher tries to calm him down but nothing works. Uh, if we had art, we could distract him, but we are not artistic. Um, we have a 67% chance to persuade him. Let's go for it. Nope. The students work hard to persuade the man to let them pass, but he refuses to listen. He roars and waves his fists in the air. Then he charges at the students. Everyone has no choice but to run for their lives. Um, okay. Arthur Roberts. So many science teachers. Primary to this, uh, lead research. How many teachers were in? And you. Jones got replaced with Jones.
Okay. Basically, I just want a, like, teachers to be focused in a certain area. Like, so, basically, one teacher between two, or two teachers between two classrooms, they go back and forth, kind of thing. Uh, we need heat, I believe. We've not got a report about that. I don't see any teachers around. Yeah, yeah. Is that working now? No, they did. Bullying. Lunch break. Uh, training force for Scott White complete. 25, so you are done. Um, Paul here needs to be educated before he breaks. Paul Flores. Okay. Uh, training course for Todd Perez complete. You can go again. We are getting low on cash. Uh, how are we doing on this? You are excessively stressed. Everybody's excessively stressed. Do we have somebody working here? We I don't think so. No. Is anybody idle right now? Brian Perez, Paul Flores, um... I need another new teacher. Where is all those classrooms I just built? Okay, so number... you're already over finished. You only have a couple students. I guess you actually have more. You have nine students and you're over stressed. Are you kidding? Where's the other number one? Oh, I just took your teacher. I was like, how did you get stressed now? Um... You look like the best tire. Okay, so we have two people overstressed at the moment. Three people overstressed at the moment. Brian Perez and Martin Jones need to be educated. Um, okay, let's switch here. Brian Perez, management.
All right, I have one student who is still set to fail. I think yeah, this might be the person who failed last time. I'm not sure. Um, basically, I have to switch them over. I pulled them out of their normal class because they weren't getting enough humanitarian skill. And that's why I think they failed, because it wasn't high enough, I guess. Um, like, to begin with. So... I gotta move them over. I was contemplating actually just throwing them in here tomorrow. And then putting them back into here. So they'll get the art. But they'll have, like, if I throw them in the other humanitarian class tomorrow, then they'll max it out kind of thing. I thought I heard it building. Oh, 25 new student application. Alright. Um, okay, so humanitarian and science first. That one's full. only accept 12 more of those students this semester. Humanitarian and art. Sorry, arts and athletics. We have the last one, you're number five. It does tell you so. Hamburg Security Acad uh, Academy. Academy. Oh my god. So it basically tells you where they're from, which. Or is that where they're from? Where they want to go? I think it's where they want to go. Yeah. Now you're going to be stressed, that's for sure. And let's grab the last people here. Which would be number four. Now there's five departments. Were you stressed to begin with because your classes didn't change? Or is it just because he's overly stressed? Uh, that I think it's because he's getting more and more stressed. Bullying. And building snowmen. Not enough drinking water. Another incident, not enough cafeterias. Where's our cafe? Here it is. I mean, it looks like you just need to go faster. Confiscate 30 contraband. Got an achievement for that. 20 people are complaining about not enough drinking water. Um, can I just throw in two more of you? Yep. I sure can. 
until I recruit more people. Arlene Hammond, research. Um, I'm not gonna. Okay, I need to get some of these. Clicked on the right one twice. Um, managers done here. Who are we looking at? You are being trained. Martin Jones. Brian, I think Brian Perez is being trained. Martin Jones, let's go with him. Yeah, Brian Perez. Martin Jones. And I did look this up. I was wondering, I'm like, your main character. I was about to click on there to find him. Um, so your main character has a proficiency of, I thought it was 40. Okay, so it's a proficiency of 35, which is not high at all. And I was like, okay, so you're going to become very much obsolete very like your character will become obsolete very quickly here how like you have to be able to increase your proficiency you can't uh in the world map by your school there is this place right here that you can go to it's very expensive And you can send three people at a time. I don't know if it's like ten. It's like ten thousand. Um, whatever this is. I don't know if that's per person or per group. No, I didn't take all of somebody. Well, that's local, probably. Oh, almost local. Um, more money for us. What is this? Headmaster, it's freezing in here. These classrooms is so cold as a freezer. Please build. Yeah. I thought we would have got something by that, for that, but we haven't. Oh, no, we are. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. temperature, we need boilers. They're expensive as hell, unfortunately. And they do not go that far. Heaters. Used to be able to get these anywhere. course for arena jones complete um again 
Thank you, Headmaster. It's so much warmer. Now here's a small token for of, uh, of appreciation for my three sweet uh, roast sweet potatoes. Cool. Um, I think I want to switch you for managers. Who is stressed? Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn it is. Some need to clean it here. How much money we got? 9,000. We're hurting on money now. Now, I believe I should have to worry a lot less about fire in this building because it is fire -proof. I'm not sure if that's how it works or not. This, they still have a Oh my god, it's sleep. Okay. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Please leave any comments that you might have, and I hope to see you all again. Have a great day, everybody.